It's hard to believe I've had Storm the Eagle now for eight months. In that time, she's been doing lots of static displays and some handling as well, but she is pretty heavy, weighing over five kilos, so we do make sure we warn people before they put that glove on and hold her. But she's been a real hit, and it's been lovely to have a different type of bird of prey to talk about on displays. Now, I have got a really big, exciting announcement to make in this Our Diary, but it's got nothing to do with Storm the Eagle. Recently, I really have noticed how popular our small owls are, a bit like Gizmo here, the Indian Scops owl, especially with the care home visits. We've been doing quite a few of them recently. We don't just take small owls, of course. We've got Henrietta, who does a bit of walking about, a bit of indoor flying, lots of handling with the residents, a bit of a therapy session. Yeah, the small owls, definitely very popular with everyone. But Gizmo here has also got nothing to do with the announcement I need to make. In fact, to do the announcement properly, I think I need to go get into a suit. Well, that feels more appropriate for the topic of this announcement. Now, if you've been a regular viewer to this channel, you may have noticed that we do provide services for weddings around the UK. And this is particularly for the Barn Owl Ring Bearer Service. Now, this actual idea came about in 2006 from my previous employer at a bird of prey centre, Stuart Laidler. And he had the idea to provide this for a friend's wedding. Now, he then thought this could be a good business idea. So he set up a website, attached all the domain names he could think of to it, and off it went onto the web and became very, very popular. So over the last sort of 15, almost 20 years, Stuart has had the busiest of all of the ring bearer services because of course he is the original. When he first set up the business, he tried to patent it. Of course you can't patent an idea, it's not a product. He tried to trademark it, but apparently the people who make that decision said, oh no, you can't trademark it because that would give you an unfair advantage on the competition. Well, that's kind of the point. But as it happened, he couldn't protect it. And of course, other people began doing weddings, including myself, because he told me I could all the way back in 2011. So over the years, I've been doing about 10, maybe 15 weddings a year, mostly around the Yorkshire area of the UK. Well, the exciting announcement is that this January 2024, I completed in the purchase of that original ring bearer business. I folded it into my enterprise, which means we have gone from doing a dozen or so weddings a year to just over 100 weddings per year all around the UK. And since I've taken on the website and changed the details to my details, I'm receiving one or two inquiries a day, every single day, and we've taken quite a few bookings, including some really stunning venues, like some castles, some places by the coast, and we even have a booking for next year that has been confirmed deposit paid for Santorini in Greece. Yes, I'll be taking a bird on a plane to visit a part of Europe that isn't the UK, and maybe we'll be doing more weddings abroad. We'll just have to see. Of course, I'll do a YouTube video on that very trip. It should be very exciting. Now, this is great for us because we love doing weddings. There are a few things in the world of falconry display work where you get to wear a suit or a nice dress, but also the atmosphere at the weddings is really special too. The way it works is we turn up about an hour before do a little practice flight with the best man or whoever's going to accept the rings and then we hide away, perhaps get the suit on, get ourselves ready, decide where we're going to sneak in from and when the moment arrives we present the owl as she flies down the aisle with the rings as a big surprise to the guests. We also let the guests hold the owl, include it in some of their photos and we also provide extra handling with other birds of prey and flying shows at weddings as well. So the admin has gone through the roof. I've had to employ an admin assistant, a PA if you like. Things are all going in the direction we want them to. And I'm certainly going to share this journey that Owl Adventures is on with you here on this YouTube channel. So now that I own the UK's leading owl wedding business, 
who ever thought such a thing could exist. I need to think a little bit about what birds I've got here and what I'm going to do and where I'm going to keep them. Now, please remember that this particular premises is not going to be a permanent thing, just something that'll work for a few more years. Say hi, Maverick. It's been very noisy while I uh, do the uh, little talk here. So we have got some space at the end here to build some more aviaries and this uh, sort of safety corridor here can extend. So this shelter here is just a place to keep boxes. I've just cleaned this one out and some of the underneath there uh, just to keep them dry. But we're going to look at extending down here a little bit because we're going to need some more barn owls essentially because sometimes we'll do up to three weddings a day and currently we've just got two. So we do need some more. So just recently we did a wedding for Derek and Dawn down in Chester and Dee, one of our team members, went and did that wedding with Juno the barn owl and Diego the white-faced owl. It's actually the first wedding she's ever done. I should probably announce actually, since this is a wedding episode of the uh, Owl Diary series, that I did propose to Dee just a few weeks ago and I'm pleased to say she said yes. So we are planning to get married in September of 2026, about two and a half years away. And before you ask, we're not going to have any of the owls that are rings at our wedding. Though quite a few people have asked us that question. In further promotion of the owl wedding stuff, I have had an article done in the Stray Ferret, which is an online magazine, newspaper for the Yorkshire region, and BBC Radio York picked up on that, so I did actually take an owl into the studio and have a quick chat there, which means I ended up on the BBC News. Well, at least I'm on the news for a positive reason. So as well as some extra barn owls this year, we're also going to get another Harris Hawk because we use those for flying experiences and flying shows and of course the pest control which is picking up all the time and we also are looking at getting another large owl, possibly a Bengal eagle owl, something like that, which will hand rear. We'll show you that here on the channel from getting it from a, a chick about two weeks old to rearing it and training it to fly free because that sort of large owl will actually fly to the glove very easily a bit like a barn owl or a harris hawk would which would be fantastic for the flying experiences and that kind of work and that we do <laughs> <laughs> 